but to bring you up on a higher level of consciousness, people. You can't wait. I'm through with dreams. I am not waiting on white America or any other faction of America to give me my freedom when it looks like we gotta take our freedom. No more dreaming. Wake up to reality. No way we gonna, we cannot sing, we shall overcome, another 40 years and still be in the same hell and same condition. No more singing. The time for war, the time for redemption is now. Read Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. The more the children of Israel, that's you Negro, West Indian, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, and Haitian. Hear the word, which is the Bible. Read. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Now how can God love everybody and he has a controversy which means beef? Why does the Lord have a beef? Why does the Lord have a beef in what goes on right here? Because all you have out here is madness, chaos, confusion, and disrespect. All you have out here is filthiness. I mean, Look at this ad right here. Every time, everything has everything has sex and nudity. Okay? The Lord has a what? The Lord has a controversy of beef with the inhabitants of the land. And what's and who's inhabiting America right now? All you see out here predominantly is every kind of freak, pedophile, and idiot that you can think of. And all you gotta do is look at Jerry Springer to get a full idea of the mentality that runs prevalent in America right now. Look at the president. He's a bona fide idiot. He's a bona fide idiot. That, that in itself sums it up about what is going on in America. Read on because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. And it's clear that there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Heavenly Father in this land. And all you gotta do is check out the faces of the people around you. Look at the attitudes of all the people that are around you to see full scale that there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Lord in this land. Look at look at the education system of a whole of America. Look at the education system as a whole. Our kids are not learning deadly squat in these schools now. You go to school nowadays, you got the very people, the teachers who are supposed to be giving you education, selling you drugs, or molesting your children. You got pastors and priests in these Catholic churches that are molesting your children and molesting your young boys and sons. And you think the Lord will let this continue to go on? You are sadly mistaken. Read on. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. And that's why you have gang violence, black on black violence, Husbands killing wives, wives killing husbands, kids killing kids because of the lawlessness that's well in America God, right now. And you too, brother, are Israelite. But now you gotta become a practicing Israelite, brother man. And that's the problem. We we too content to give lip service and no action. We gotta stop being all mouth and start being action. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. See, we got to become intelligent now. Stupidity must be put to the side. Nigga, ignorance must be put to the side. And we must become intelligent. We got to stop being the niggas and spicks. The bees and the hoes that America has deemed us and put on being our righteous and true selves, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. And you, it's clear cut to so called black Americans, Puerto Rican, Dominicans, Cuban, Haitians, that we are not desired in America. Again, Eugene, how does drugs get into the black communities? 
is responsible for most of the drugs that are being sold out here, heroin, crack, in our community. But now you cheat. They're not flies. So why do we have to eat their doo-doo? 